Hello, and welcome back to Treacle Stew. Last time we were partway through a room here, and uh, we were having some issues getting this gel across the trapdoors. Now, a couple of things have um, come up from this. I think I need this whole space res uh, preserved the way it is, and that way I'll be able to use a caber to scoop the gel mother out, which means that I have to be able to, from here, have to be able to move onto this pit, which means doing this. Now, again, I'm just assuming that this is going to let me get through with tar, but I'm not entirely uh, sure if that's the case or not. Uh, another thing that's come up is that it was pointed out to me that me cutting this gel when I did makes the room unsolvable. It needs to, it needs to be like this. Uh, you know what, this is actually maybe a decent spot to start this from. So, no cutting of the gel. Uh, what am I doing? I'm just letting this grow. Right, right, right. I forgot the other important thing about this room. There we go. Use the clone to prevent growth. Now, do I want to do that? Maybe. So if I want this preserved... No, I need it to not drop that. Okay, so actually we'll back up until we're here and do that. That's the difference. And then we can run along this way, and I think this will work out. Bring this back. Cutting that makes a difference or not? Let's uh, let's not. I don't think it actually makes a difference. But it'll be easier to get out from here than from here. All right. So now we're looking at that. Is it possible to get the tar across this? Well, it's possible to grow the tar, but this is not cuttable. So that immediately looks like a problem. Hmm. You know, I just came to a realization that the way I've been doing this is incredibly stupid. Why am I going down the middle? Why am I going down the middle? I can just do this. And that leaves me the maximum amount of space available, because then I can do tar up on the top, gel down on the bottom, and it's still the same thing, effectively, only now this isn't potentially cutting one of my solutions in half. Hmm. Seems like a much smarter way of doing things. Which then... Hmm... So we're, we're going across to cut the mud first, because having the mud grow up the trapdoors is going to make it impossible to get either of the other tar, tar stuffs through. So I think the mud is just a tax on my trapdoors, forcing me to get rid of some. This... I was thinking it might be more efficient just to bring the tar along now, as I'm going, because that saves me a trip across. But that means that the gel is going to be growing. So let's look at something real quick. 
it does start back here. Now this probably exists here, so that if I try to do the tar first, then this will grow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, one, two, still not connected. Three, four, but it's up to here. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, it's not quite going to work. It's not quite going to work. So I can let this grow a few times in order to cut this and push the gel back. And I think that's going to be ultimately smarter, so I'm actually going to start the whole room over again now that I've come to that conclusion. Instead of going across as many times as I am, I think I actually want to do tar first. Because I need to I need to deal with the mud before I deal with the gel and the tar. Coming across and dealing with tar first lets me... Yeah, I don't need to worry about this growing anyway, so it's fine. This is just going to be inert because it's gel. So we can leave that. So push the tar up here, which means that we grow, we let things grow a few times, and it's, as we saw, it's no issue to clean that up at all. Okay. Okay. I think that we have a completely new approach that's going to make this room a lot easier than last time I'm doing it. So really, taking a break when I did was a huge blessing, because... This is... I probably would have persisted in my current... and my previous line of, uh, attack for quite a while. So there's our two growths, and we pushed the gel back quite a bit. Uh, that worked out pretty nicely. Yeah, it's almost like I planned that. I didn't, but almost. Okay. So now we grab this pickaxe. Uh, I guess we could stab this. I was going to not stab that and push it instead, but we only need one of these. And you can, whoops, you can go here, like that. And by pushing you back like that, I'm just assuming I will eventually be able to cut into you. It's going to be a pain. Uh, but are you back far enough now? Are you back far enough that I can get the tar across here? Especially if I leave this tar here. I can start the tar from here. So then it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11-ish growths in order to get it across. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay, easily. Grab the sword, and we... You know what? Let's trim from the bottom. I don't think that's going to matter. We do want to completely clean up all of this. Oh, whoops. Just rotated, rotated in the water a little bit there. We do want to completely clean this up. But first... Okay, that looks like a pretty good start, honestly. Yeah. 
This looks pretty good. Do we want to be going up on that diagonal? Mm, the problem with that is that then we're getting... Are we getting impacted by that? Not really, actually. That's fine. And this is nice and clean back here. This is getting a little bit worrying. Okay. And obviously, our approach is going to have to change once we get onto the trapdoors. But let's play around with that and see how it's going to change. If I do that, Still haven't touched a trapdoor. So what happens if I just do this? I'm forced to leave. But then I get cover. Uh, I don't get to park inside of it though anymore. Because I need a very specific set of moves for that. Unless I do that, which... Well, that'll kill me, for one thing. Uh, but if we have a line across here at the end, it's a little bit wasteful, I guess. Also, if I'm doing what I'm doing here, it would be better to do that, right? Because then I can... No, I need to actually push it. And that gel is getting a little bit out of hand. Ooh, I just thought of a completely different approach and I want to try it. Okay. This was working decently well. However... Uh, however, I just thought of something else that might work even better. Yeah, and that, that's going to be so much easier. Oh my god, okay. Uh, I guess I could say what I'm going to be doing, but... But I'm not going to. Because I'm a bad Let's Player. Let's so leave everybody in the dark. Uh, so we are still going to do the same thing we did here. Uh, which is that. Did we cut it right away? I think we did. It's worked out pretty well. grab the sword just because it'll be easier when we're no longer pushing. We have access to the other thing anyway, so we'll be fine. Alright, so what we're gonna do here... is that. Because that is enough space to get this tar across. <laughs> yeah, that looks pretty good. And it has to be specifically that diagonal for what I'm going to be doing here. I uh, might as well start cutting this. Okay. 
Again, just need the one eye. Uh, that, that is fine. That's not. Neither is. Well, that would have been salvageable, but not great. Uh, we can. Yeah, let's leave it on that diagonal. Alright. So this part is going to be the same. But actually, I think I can do the same trick with the gel. What I'm going to do, if this works, then I just made life so much easier. Okay, I'm excited for this. Hopefully I'm not going to disappoint myself after I've been hyping this up. Gel is getting a little bit out of hand, that's a concern. Gel might not have been far enough back. Uh, I think it will be, actually. It's starting to come together just as I planned. Uh, no, this isn't going to work because the gel is growing on the trapdoors. <clears throat> okay. Is there a way I can fix that so that it's not going to be an issue? I guess at this point I can just show off quickly what I want to do here. Since it's mostly in position, the plan is to do this. And get across. That way. And so I don't need to cut it at all at this point. I can just diagonally push it along. And that leaves me more than enough space to do the same thing with gel and still get back out once I'm on this side. Okay, so now the puzzle is figuring out how to keep the gel in a state where it's not going to get in the way of the trapdoors. Now, if I just push it like up here, It'll take a while to grow. I should still be able to cut diagonally into it, so I think that'll be fine. Um, and in fact, if I use gel babies, I might even be able to trap it on gel babies so that the gel doesn't grow at all. All right, starting over again, as you do. Scroll said that planning was important for this room, right? Now, I could keep this mud to try to do something with it. Yeah, hmm. I could keep the mud. Because the mud's not going to be growing once I kill the mud mother, so I can keep trimming the mud and use the mud as a barrier for the gel. Which will make the gel a lot easier to deal with. not really any good mud spots. I feel like I'm maybe making things more complicated than they need to be at this point. Also probably only going to be doing this one room in this episode because this is taking a while. I just went on autopilot and destroyed everything. Talk and broad at the same time? Nope. Bad idea. Fine. 
So we're going to do this same setup again so that we can cut that one bit. Cut that one bit. I'm going to leave that for a second. Uh, do I want to cut it back this much? Leaving the two eyes... Like, if I grow the gel, or the mud, one more time, the gel can't get through. And I'm guaranteed to have a corner formed by mud that the gel will be cuttable from, which will get me to the eyes. Okay. I think we're actually good. So yeah, gel will grow in here, which is good because that lets me cut into it easily, no matter how much it fills up this space. And yeah, I think I want to come down here. Okay, we found a use for the mud. So that mud's never going to grow. I don't know if the mud... what I'm doing with the mud was intended. I'm sure uh, Chaco can respond on that. Uh, why am I... why am I autopiloting? Stop autopiloting. It's because I'm trying to talk and draw it at the same time. It just doesn't work. And this room isn't so trivial that I can afford to do that. here because that gives us the nice diagonal where you're on the bottom of the of everything. So I guess leaving the the mud up here could prevent this from coming around but it's gonna get capped by a gel baby here regardless so that's fine. All right yeah planning turns out makes things easier. Wouldn't be the first time in a drawing room. Well, I'm actually really glad that I stepped away from this room, because I think I would have been very negative towards it. But this room suddenly became very cool now that I've started doing these new strategies. But it's one of those things that you could definitely see somebody getting stuck on for a very long time, trying strategies that weren't going to work out very well. Whereas what I've got set up now... Yeah, so you can see it's capped. And this is definitely cuttable. I have access to this. I have access to the eyes. Everything is good. Uh, except for the fact that I crossed this on the wrong spot, because I was talking probably when I crossed it. it sure was. Um, here? Yes, that looks right. Let's try this again. Yeah, good thing we have checkpoints in this game, and unlimited undo, and all these other features that let you not carry your hair out every time you overlook a simple thing. Like, I've heard about how this game used to play in the uh, King Dugan's Dungeon days, before, I guess, Webfoot Drop, before there was even... Uh, before you even had things like undo um, at all, or checkpoints. Like, was there... there might have been single undo. I don't even remember. Maybe not in the very first version of Drob. But there definitely wasn't unlimited undo until Drob 5. And checkpoints I don't think existed in original Drod either. And I want to say zero undo, but maybe there was one undo. I wasn't a part of the community until after 
the second sky was released. Uh, that's my diagonal, yeah. Because I uh, discovered the franchise uh, because GOG had a sale, GOG.com, and I think I got the entire game series, except maybe minus the second sky, but including uh, Tendry's Tale for five dollars or something like that, which was absurd. Uh, I have since repurchased everything uh, just because I felt like that was they they deserved more money for what the game is than what I ended up paying. So I bought them again when they were on Steam and all that, but yeah. That's what got me into things. There was like celebrating the release of Second Sky and then they had a sale. Alright. Now we can do that. Get you out. I guess I can switch back to Sword. Good. Uh, nope, we have to leave that connected. Okay. This is fine. This is completely under control. Hmm. Uh, right, that's not gonna that's not gonna do anything. I don't want it to there anyway. Life is good. Life is fine. And that's far enough, I guess. Uh, we will let it grow one more time, so... Just to make absolutely certain... Like, it's gonna have to grow regardless. We might as well do that. Now, the problem with this setup... Is... Well, no, I can let it grow once I've... Okay. We're gonna do that. Get that there. Okay, I moved. Because now. In fact, yeah, let's just let it grow one more time. I'm gonna say the problem is that I'm gonna get tar growing in here, but that's a problem that can be fixed. Like so. We're just going to prevent growth for a little bit. Uh, you are a little bit annoying. Let's just do that. Uh, the problem with this is I do need a sword or a pickaxe in order to cut anything. Hmm... And if I do that, that gives me enough room for the gel to grow. But I won't be able to get back. There is a green door. Okay. So I could have planned this better. But I don't need to because of these green doors here. Uh, I think I'd much rather whoops, much rather have the sword I'm doing gel cutting. Right, so we'll leave that line so that I can pull this across. I guess it doesn't matter if that's connected or not, honestly. Okay, so we've gotten through, we have access to our tools. We'll just do that to make sure that we have access to the eyes. Now, we probably want to actually... trim a little bit of this. So that... We're not connected, for one thing. Something like that. Let's 
So now we can push you across. Hmm. Yeah, that's what I want to do. Something like this. Then I can do that. Uh, we can just leave you there for now. Can we? Yes. Okay, so we got our gel out a little bit. Now we have to deal with this tar. But did this open up? Nope, I messed it up. Okay. In that case, let's... Let's let it grow there again and stand here. Yeah, that's better. We got a little bit of a an obstacle there, but that's fine. And I guess we do need the pickaxe, so we will persist with this. Let's just get rid of the mud. Cutting tar with uh, this is a problem potentially. No, it's not. I was gonna say this is gonna grow and tar is gonna tar babies are gonna spawn here, but they won't because the tar mother will be dead. So that's fine. I guess I'm using that. And I guess I want to cut as much of this as I can. Probably going to wait a turn here, because I don't want the gel growing and I want to make that cut. Oops, so we're not being optimally, effic optimally efficient here, which is fine. Don't need to be optimal every day. Uh, how do I feel about that move? It's not great. But I'd also really prefer that this not grow when it did. I oh, know, okay, we're gonna have to... do that, I guess. I don't really want this tar growing right now, or the, the gel. This will do... Oh, that didn't work because it linked up. That would be... tolerable, because we're wanting this eye on this diagonal. Push into the pit. That's a, an operation I can do. Okay. Uh, I guess I can do that. That's fine. here. Uh, although I did let this grow again, so... We 
we'll wait on that and then we want it like that. Oh, that's kind of ugly. There. Can't stun it. Uh, if I still, if I don't push it into the gel, yeah, I can stun it that way. Although I guess. Growing a little bit more is fine because I want to do that regardless. Have it grow from there. Uh, we'll hold off on that a little bit longer. Okay. Hmm. Maybe we just don't let that grow anymore. Okay, two more cycles. Ah, uh, yeah, we can still do that. I would just sign, yeah, because what we're actually after this whole time, I guess I didn't need to grow it there. That's fine. Okay, one, uh, two down because we've done the mud already. Okay, we cannot leave any babies up here. Sure, what I was expecting there. Okay. There we go. Nice and easy. And from here, I think I can just do this and wait. So from there, I can push it across. If I let it grow one more time, it's probably okay. And yeah, it's never going to grow over here. Uh, in fact, let's uh, fix a potential issue here. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm, 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 that's a problem. I need this to not grow. If I had kept the second eye alive this whole time... If I had kept the second eye alive this whole time, I could cut this and seal it off. Which I think the eye was after I'd done all this, so I mean, this room is certainly taking a lot of time. Uh, alternatively, alternatively, I can push it all the way over here. I 
I can push it all the way over here. Let's see if I do this. I can push it all the way over here and then I can make this cut and it's no longer connected. Okay. I think that's also a solution. All right. If I do this, it's bad, but if I do... Okay, so thinking here, I can't actually push that. So considering leaving that open, I mean, I guess I can push it with the caber. For some reason, I'm trying to do this more efficiently than that. I guess I can just do this. Which lets me do that. Then I can do this and get some good cuts. And get away from this pit and have space again. Okay. Oh, I guess that was kind of... Oh, yeah. We'll just, we'll just do it slow. Alright, so then from here we do this trick. No, that's not cuttable. We do this way, I guess. That should be fine. Okay, room cleared and we have an exit. This room is difficult and lengthy. Plan ahead and make sure what you're trying to do is possible before you try it, as such is unrequired for this level. Well, yeah, I'd say that was... What, like an hour and 20 minutes on one room with a sizable break in the middle and uh, a warning about this being an issue. So yeah, that was a, that was a pretty rough room. Uh, but we got it, and I'm assuming that was something like that. I don't know if there's like multiple solutions, but something like that felt like a pretty good solution, so I'm pretty happy with the room after I discovered that. Uh, but like I said, if I had uh, succeeded in what I was doing at the end of the previous episode, I think I would have hated this room and said it was terrible and that it shouldn't have been included in Post Mastery. So I'm glad I had that cooling off period to come back to it and uh, yeah, come up with a come up with a better strategy. All right, and yeah, it's been 45 minutes. I don't know how hard these next few rooms are going to be, but I think I'm just going to be done with this room, and uh, we'll explore the rest of this next time. I will see you then.